folks, before we get started with this video, I had to take you into the garage. So this Ferrari is in here just for storage on the farm, and this Porsche is also in here for storage on the farm. These cars don't belong to the farmers, but they are being stored here. That is a beautiful Ferrari right there. You want it? You buy it? Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We are in the UK. We are at Pemberton, Pemberton Dairy. And we are gonna see a famous YouTuber here in the UK. His name is Tom Pemberton. We're gonna go around, check him out, check out his operation, see what he's got going here. They have a little farm shop right here behind us. Good morning, Josh. How morning. you doing? Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? You have a good trip up? Yeah, it was yeah. a good time. Really good time. How are you getting used to driving? Uh, it's, it's all right. A little <laughs> stressful. So we've been driving on the wrong side of the road over here, which is the right side of the road over here, yep. which is the left side of the road over here. <laughs> Roads are a little bit smaller than yours. Roads are much, much smaller. They're about two feet more narrow and you frequently use the ditch on the side yeah, of the yeah, road. Yeah, the hard to... shoulder. Yep. Yeah, so just because there's so much traffic. Yep. We're just not used to, people, everyone's getting more overpopulated yep. and our country's so small right. and we're just, the just <laughs> roads are getting full but luckily because we're farmers, except for yourself, you go traveling everywhere. Yep. Um, but look at it for me, we're kind of like based here and I go away like once a month right. away, Do you know, we're way away. Cool. Like we go obviously into town and stuff, but yep. that's nice and easy. But yeah, down the roads, it's unbelievable. So I'm told that tractors go 55 miles an hour. Is that 55, right? 55, yeah, you got your okay. fast tracks. Yeah. They can actually, yeah, they can, they can floor it and they can go. Yeah. Ours is only a 40K box, so it's about 27. That's... And then the standard now, we're looking at 50K boxes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's uh, it's still fast yeah, for, it's fast for us. Enough, I think it? we go like 15 on the highway. <laughs> so good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you always see them dual wheeled, uh, massive, and just people flooring it past you. <laughs> <laughs> we listened to you last time we went on our road trip, our Farm Stock 2018 road trip. We just kind of introduced you to the guy, so we're going to introduce you, yep. and we're going to take you in. We're going to get some cow poop on our feet. Oh, that's what we want. Stony Bridge. I didn't bring mud boots over here and we're getting ready to go into the dairy area so this is what I have they're fancy shoes you like my fancy shoes these are grocery bags tied around your shoes they're makeshift mud boots this is how they do it that's how they roll over in the UK if you guys have ever been to England post a comment down there below we don't know a lot yep. about England and post where have you been because I'll check it out as well I'll comment on the video as well check it where you've been so if yeah. you've been Manchester we're like live in St. Anne's near Blackpool on the coast so if you've been there some of you break Totally of your head. Yeah. But uh, put where you've been and I'll say if it's near or not. Not near London, guys. So a yeah. lot of people think England is just like London and then we're just. That's it. Yeah. Know, we've got Wales yeah. and Scotland onto us. No, it's quite. It's it, not as big as you guys. You can fit us all into Texas, I think. Yeah. Easily yeah. about 50 times. Yep. Yeah. So this yeah. is where we are. So if you guys didn't understand what he said, <laughs> I want you to post a comment down there below. Because. <laughs> We <laughs> it's so this place is so different guys i've been driving on the on the left hand side of the road i, w I don't want to say the wrong side of the road but <laughs> we've been driving on the wrong side of the road all day the darn steering wheels on the wrong side of the road the rearview mirror is over here i'm shifting with my left hand Whew. Who it's, knows? it's stressful. Hey, you it's got stressful. here. That's the main thing. That's it. You got here. And we're going to look at some cows. So we're going to go back in here. As a dairy farm, you have and a beef, beef, beef operation. Beef unit, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We'll get into it. This is going to be a bit of a long video because we want to share as much as we possibly can about Tom's place. And this is a third generation farm? Fifth generation. Fifth I'm generation. Fifth generation. Wow, so he's yeah. fifth generation. We're on about 220 acres and we've got 300 head of cattle. We have 12 breeding ewes for just a little bit of what we do and then we have six highland cows which will go and we'll go feed them They're like okay. pets cool and um, just watch out for the horns watch out for the horns <laughs> cool guys let's walk around the dairy we're going to show you all sorts of fun stuff today it's going to be rad Woo! Good. Woo. <laughs> so we are going to go should we go parlor let's have a look where we do the milking itself um so we are milking about 120 cows uh, through an eight aside parlor herring bow so it's quite small it's quite old-fashioned we're still on jars um, but oh, my head, watch your head because you'll definitely hit your head. So it works quite well for us. We are on, like I say, jars. They're on, I think, seven gallons. You guys work on gallons, it's 32 litres. Um, they come through the side and the units swing over. That's how we work this system and it works pretty well for us. This parlor was built in 1967, so it's older than me. It's not older than dad, but it's, it's definitely older than me. And obviously we've revamped it a little bit. 
Um, for us, the dairy side has been really important. We do doorstep deliveries. So that is straight to consumer. That is what our business, our farm is all about. So we milk the cows, we do the beef unit. Uh, we've got a farm shop on, we'll go into that in a bit. But we are all about processing the milk here and then we go and deliver it to the doorstep. So we have customers that wake up in the morning, have a bottle of milk at the door and drink it straight from us. And we started what we're doing, uh, my social media, because we wanted to show people when they buy their milk, where it's coming from. So they want to see the cows and they want to see the calves grow up. And that's what we are all about. So here we have the anything under seven days old. We have the Angus calves and we have coats on because it's nice and cold. So uh, yeah, the coats help them grow, and that's what we're about. Nice, healthy calves. So guys, do you see the little cow sucking on my finger? They're, they're just predisposed, I guess, pre-programmed to suckle, to suckle, to look for that milk. It's pretty interesting. And they don't have any teeth. Kind of fun. In the UK, folks don't wear sunglasses. You can't go to a store, really, and buy sunglasses. Uh, gas stations in the US all have sunglasses and ball caps, not so in the UK. So most of the time ball caps in the UK are worn by young, younger uh, gentlemen, like in their early 20s, which I'm not. <laughs> so next stage we're on, they come into the car building, which is here, and then anything over the seven to, days, seven to 21 days come into here and they're all on milk and then they get put onto a nut which is a little cake nut which has got a bit of milk in it, milk powder, so they can get them off the milk onto a harder nut. But it's all about friendly calves. Yeah! What kind of cow is this? So this is a Charolais. Okay. So sure. we have okay. Charolais, we have quite a few crosses here. Yeah. Um, we started with the Charolais um, for their meat, they put a lot of meat on um, and the fat content in the meat for the marbling. Um, but now we've gone away from that because they just get a little bit too big for us, so we've gone for an Angus. So now we're, we've just got the last bit of Charolais coming through, and now we're going Angus because it's all about the farm shop and high quality um, beef. So that's what we do now. We put the Angus in. The, Jersey, the Charolais are great, and they do do good beef, but they just get too big and they're massive. Um, like this guy, he's just huge. <laughs> These are really friendly. I'm big on putting all your effort into the cows. I love being friendly with cows. I love cows that will come up to you and very uh, mischievous, friendly. That's what we're about. Healthy, happy cows. Nice. Yeah, they're good. And they're just, like I say, they're massive. They're big animals. Oh. Hey. Woo, so we're we'll going for this little area and we've got more calves. They're just absolutely everywhere around here. If there is a building with a roof on, we have an animal underneath it. Um, like I say, 300 head of start with 200 acres. We are busy, we have muck everywhere, and we are constantly bedding up, but that's farming life. I look like the biggest tourist with these shoes on. <laughs> he, he made them for me, I mean, what a creative guy. It's, just, it's called that, uh, what's it called, that, that English um, hospitality. hospitality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As we walk through here, I wanna let you know, this is just so clean. The floors are so clean. Now, if you know anything about cows, cows are messy, especially on the back end and everything is just clean as a whistle in here. It's as if they've gone through the pressure washer every day and pressure washed this. Looks nice. So this is where we keep the cows. This is where they sleep, eat, pee and poo. Do all the good stuff. Um, we keep them in shelter six months of the year. A little bit different where you guys are. We like to keep them nice and clean and tidy because it gets really rainy. So these are, yeah, these are the cows. We're going to go look at some kit. We've got a little bit different kit than what you've got and I uh, hope you like it. Good deal. Hey, a boy. <laughs> Just so you guys know, the noises and the smells of the place. It smells like cows, and the noises are what cows make, and it's very enjoyable. I'm going to tell you right now, it sounds as if someone is dumping a bucket full of beans back there, and I know what that is. There was a bucket of water earlier and a bucket of beans sound just, just now. So, Cows are great for butt fertilizer. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do you, uh, do you guys spread your uh, butt fertilizer? Oh yeah, we yep. spread it all the time. Um, makes grass grow and that's the most important stuff for us, especially yep. on our acre size. Yep, good deal. <laughs> butt fertilizer. <laughs> Woo! Now guys, Thomas's girlfriend is, uh, tell me about you and your relationship to cows. Um, we don't really see eye to eye. <laughs> She's scared of cows. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to go look at some of the tractors that they use here on the farm. They call it kit instead of tractor. They call it kit. So they're kitted out with tractors. 
and I just walked into the fence. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna bust my butt right here. It's gonna be awesome driving back in the rental car covered with cow poop. Rad. So we have got the 150 Prime slurry tanker. This gets used pretty much three or four times a week. In front, behind, sorry, a 100 horsepower Shirleyman. This is on uh, larger tires. Because we get so wet, it's all about traveling. This does everything that we need to do. It's got plenty of power and plenty of grunt, which is perfect for our farm. So what brand is this tractor? Uh, this is a Hurleyman. Hurleyman. So it's like the Deutz and Lamborghini family, if you know the Lamborghini Yeah, Deutz. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's cool. part of their family. It's got the same underneath, but just a different outlay. Gotcha, interesting. Yeah. So we don't have these tractors in the US. Pretty cool. So yep. it's the Lamborghini tractor, rad. <laughs> Great tractor, you would hate to stand in there. The yeah. cab's a little bit poor, which I chat on my channel a bit hate the cab but the tractor itself has just got some serious serious grunt it's great so this is a 100 horsepower tractor but it's nearly the same size as our 65 horsepower tractor uh, at the house the john deere tractor we have so in case you guys don't know what slurry is it's poopy poop 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 is important you guys did you know back in the day before the invention of the automobile one of the biggest struggles in most cities was how to get rid of all the manure in the city interesting so what we have here is so every shed has slats so you see slats there yeah. every shed has slats and it all comes into this holding tank this holding tank then has a pump in or pump and a paddle so it doesn't get um, too thick the crust because that's what happens with poop mm -hmm. um, it gets too thick and it gets pumped into the lagoon or we use the pipe and we spread 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 this is a little beast it is an international 135 it does all the scraping, just gets covered in muck, cleans after cows, because that's what we do when we milk cows. We milk them, we feed them, we clean them. That's all you do. My mud boots are huge. I wear a size 14 shoe. We have a weight restriction on how much we could bring over, so I couldn't bring mud boots over. So we're looking at where we've got to walk through to show you the rest of the tractors, and I think the best thing for you to do is check out Tom's channel, because I don't think we can wade through that with these. I just don't, no, I just don't want to smell cow manure for the next four days we're here in the UK. So check out Tom Pemberton's channel. Let's get the ladies in the shot here. So Mrs. Stony Ridge. Yes. Did you know there was going to be this much activity when we have a farm? Um, I didn't know what to expect at first, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. did? No, she no. didn't? No. no. Did you know there would be this much manure in the situation? No, I didn't know it was going to be quite so poopy. It's good. Yeah, That's how we're going to... It's going to smell for the rest of your life like Tom does. <laughs> we're going to revitalize our land with manure. It's going to be super awesome. You want it? So what we have here, we have the Highlands, we have Harriet behind us. We name every single Highland. We name the two new ones this year, so the dark one and the little light one after Meghan and Kate, because that is after the uh, royal princesses of England. You might know this already. Uh, Kate, uh, Meghan Markle and uh, Kate Middleton. That's what we named them after. Cool. Now, are Highland cows prized for their beef or just their friendliness? Uh, their beef. Their beef? The, their beef is high quality. It's slow growing, so it takes a lot longer. You've got to keep these for three and a half years at least. Um, but they're more just for show for us. They're more pets and they're uh, friendly. And like I said, cows love bread. <laughs> Josh, I never do you knew that. Go? Yeah, yeah, sure. Woo, there you go, little cow. Have yourself some bread. Man. Awesome. I look good. <laughs> he had to put Mrs. Stony Ridge's sunglasses on. They're not used to the sun over here. I'm not used to the sun. My eyes started streaming. I thought this is a bad idea. Well, guys, I thought it would be awesome to take you to a farm here in the United Kingdom in England. While we're over here, we're over here to visit with Tornado Wire, the fence company that's going to be uh, building fences here on our farm when we get back home. We're also here to visit with Protec Machinery, which make the fence post pounders that we're going to have on the farm too. So. It's awesome. Thanks a lot. Very Thank you good very to much, meet you. Josh, for Guys. saying hello, spending it, and hope you enjoy your time in uh, England. I know it's very short, but hope you had a good one. It's going to be great. Tell them about your channel real quick. My channel is Tom Pemberton Farm Life. Nice. Simple. Awesome, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. We got one more thing we got to do. See you guys later. Woo! <laughs> he did the woo all right. I must have some English heritage. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life. Unveiling of the manure shoes. Good morning, everybody. Oh, we've got just a bit of. See that wetness? 
That is uh, Manua. Oh, man. Oh, this, is, uh -oh. This, is uh, oh, this one's a good one. Oh, That's yeah. like Christmas. Yeah, let me do it. Uh, oh, we got it. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. just a touch. Oh. Just a touch of poop. <laughs> and there, too. Thumbs up, guys. Have you seen Dumb and Dumber? The movie Dumb the and Dumber? The first one? Yeah. One first of the greatest one. films ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's terrified of cows. We can bring that in later. Yeah, so she's terrified of them. Tell me why you're scared of cows, ma'am. Um, one chased me when I was little. <laughs> 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 <laughs>